my name is Sassy V, and I'm here and excited to say I'm interviewing Deborah Greaves. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. Great. Can you tell the public a little bit about what you do and, and why you're here today? Sure. I'm the general counsel of True Religion and Apparel. I was here for the um, symposium on fashion. That is really awesome. And how did you get into uh, you know doing what you do? Well, I've been representing attorney clients for about 16 years, and it just happened because the first firm that I was working for had attorney clients, and they needed someone in-house, and so I went in-house, and I've been de dealing with apparel companies ever since. That is wonderful. Would you say that you've always had a you know a passion for being in the apparel industry, or did you have interest in other things before you got into that? I actually was in printing and publishing for about 12 years before I got into um, law, and then once I got into law, I went into fashion. So it wasn't really a planned career trajectory, it just sort of happened. I noticed that you like fashion because you're dressed very well, so obviously you gravitated you know, towards that um, naturally because that's one when we just love you know, fashion and things like that. Um, where would you say that... Um, you an area that you have found um, in the industry that has been kind of like a, a problem with, with a lot of clients, um, like things that people have, have had trouble with when they're getting started in the industry? Well, I think that when you are dealing with the younger, less experienced business people, there are a number of pitfalls. Um, I find that they tend to partner with people who are a little bit um, exploitive. Uh, they make decisions that have long-term ramifications that they did not anticipate. Um, they frequently will give away their IP without intending to do that. So there are a lot of um, mind, uh, landmines, if you will, along the way. And I think that um, it's really good for them to have the ability to consult with someone, even if they don't have the money to hire an attorney to do a lot of work for them. They do need guidance because they're the most vulnerable. And I agree with that, you know, being around a, a lot of um, people that like to be creative, you know, a lot of times you do um, just kind of get excited about things and you don't think about, oh, maybe I should, you know, say something or whatever. So it's good to have someone like you that can give advice. Um, what uh, would you say is something that you want people to know about you or what you do um, or how to get a hold of you if they have questions? Well, sure. So um, what I do is I provide advice uh, in a multiple of different practice areas from corporate law to transactional to enforcement and um, IP strategy on a global basis. Uh, I have, um, well, I'm, I'm starting a private practice uh, in January and I can provide my email address if that's a... Uh, sure, that, that sounds great. Okay, so that would be D-E Greaves, which is G-R-E-A-V-E-S 415 at hotmail.com. That is great. And, um, and just a little advice, if we could we could ask for some advice. If someone is starting a clothing line or um, anything, you know, with apparel, um, what would you recommend is the, the number one thing they should do to protect themselves if they don't have the money and they don't, um, you know, can't hire an attorney, um, but they have something new and they don't want it stolen, what would be a good thing that they should do? Well, I think that when you're starting at a company, it's not just about having what you're developing stolen, but be sure that you're not unintentionally stealing something that belongs to someone else. So I very much encourage uh, companies who are starting a new, or individuals who are starting a new brand, to check that brand out. Even just go on the internet and, and do searches and find out who else is using that brand name and how they're using it. Because what you don't want to do is invest in business cards and letterhead and trims and hang tags and labels and everything else with this name that you think is available for your use and just to find out that somebody else has got it and boom, if all that investment is gone. Wow, yeah, that would not be fun. <laughs> I know I wouldn't be happy and I'm sure people out there wouldn't be happy either. Now, I know there's two sides of doing what you do. There's the business side and the paperwork, but what about those out there that maybe want to do what you do? Is there a fun side to working um, in apparel? Well, I love my job. I love everything about my job, um, and I like all aspects of it. I like the corporate side. I like the transactional side. I like the IP side. 
Um, I like the enforcement side. I think I like the enforcement side more than anything. It's a little bit more exciting. You're not sitting there reading long documents. Um, you're dealing more outside of the office, and uh, I, I do like that. But I also like being in-house in the apparel industry because I work with a lot of different departments within the company. So our clients are the design department, the production department, the board of directors, you know, all the different components that make up a company. They're our clients, and I, that's a lot of fun. Well, that's great. Well, I'm glad that you took the time to talk with us because I know, I know um, that you have to get to other uh, things today. But I really appreciate your time and thanks for sharing your knowledge and, and information. And um, we're going to look forward to seeing you at another event. And Thank you. Have a wonderful day today. Okay. Thank, Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you.